Here we see once again Manny Pacquiao shooting a straight left hand right down the pipe. Direct, and that's the kind of punch that's doing the damage to Oscar De La Hoya's left eye. Let's go, Freddie. Well, we're halfway through the fight. And some observers are still amazed at what they're seeing, although each round has gone by with repetitious regularity. Harold, how do you have it so far? That gives you six rounds to nothing, 60 to 54, Manny Pacquiao. I mean, ask De La Hoya hasn't gotten off to Schneid. He's getting shut out. And Freddie Roach used the key word at the end of round number five when he said, just keep turning him, because that's what he's doing. Just like I said before, beautiful right jab, nice straight left hand by Pacquiao, and then he turns him. He moves to the side, and De La Hoya can't get set to hit him. Six to nothing, Pacquiao. We're starting to get to that point in the fight already where you're thinking Oscar has to at least knock him down, if not knock him out, to change this fight. And Oscar hasn't shown that knockout power in a long time. I disregard to some degree the Mayorga fight because I was not that respectful level of Mayorga, but he hasn't knocked out many of the top Eli fighters in a long time. Yeah, we're talking Mayorga. The card of Mayorga is no elite fighter in my view. No. He's the most willing target in the sport. Yes. Yeah, but but still, you would think against the so-called smaller man, we'd it's, see something more. Yeah, but I think Jim summed it up. There's too much of everything. He just cannot figure out how to get into the fight, how to hold him off, how to get to him. It's too much of everything tonight. Oscar is he doesn't is maybe trying to lay a trap, but Manny is too smart and too fast for him. This fight's going to probably end up being stopped. Manny Pacquiao is annihilating Oscar De La Hoya. And in the seventh round, De La Hoya has zero answers for the Pacquiao assault. No, no, he cannot do anything. He can't Pacquiao is him. making De La Hoya look old, slow, ineffectual. As though he is a sparring partner. Some of us wonder have to fight some of them. whether have to Manny stop Pacquiao would become the Henry Armstrong of this era right now. He's looking like the immortal Armstrong. And Tony, Tony Oscar Tony is Tony barely Weeks throwing is back. Very you wonder, wonder if Tony fight. Weeks is thinking of stopping the fight. Yes. Who's looking at Oscar? shots. Deloya hasn't been down, but that may be the only thing that's keeping Weeks from stopping it. Oscar's left eye is almost closed. He hasn't thrown a meaningful punch in Miller this whole round. Pacquiao is closing in on landing 50 power shots in the round. It's the most power punches ever landed on De La Hoya in a single round of his career. And virtually all of his fights have been counted by CompuBox. An embarrassing seventh round comes to a close. Embarrassing for De La Hoya. Exciting for Pacquiao. Stop in. You okay? If you don't throw punches, we're gonna we're gonna throw we're gonna finish the fight. We can't be receiving punches like that, one after the other. Do you understand me? Okay, now fight back, man. You don't throw any punches. I'm gonna stop it. Right away and you box him. You keep boxing him. Right here you see Pacquiao landing punch after punch, and it's not so much just the way he's landing him. The body language and position of De La Hoya's body is that of a man that's defeated. It's, it's passive. He looks like he's he's humbled himself. He doesn't know what to do. He's cringing. Yes, he, he's he cringing. is cringing in the face of Pacquiao's unstoppable onslaught. CompuBox numbers in the seventh round. De La Hoya, 7 of 24, and he threw 10 of those punches in the last 30 seconds of the round. Pacquiao, 47 of 103, including 45 of 76 power shots. David Diaz was closer to being in the fight against Pacquiao than Oscar De La Hoya is at this moment. Right, you know, Harold and I both scored the last round, a 10-8 round for Pacquiao. Well, and you heard the commission doctor indicating in Delaware's corner that he will not be allowed to continue that 
kind of sustained taking punishment without the fight being stopped. The old warrior still trying to hang in there against a man in his prime who is the most exciting little fighter in the world. Little. Big he little looks big fighter. Tonight. Pacquiao is fighting tonight in the welterweight division. The champion of this division is the almost supernaturally big welterweight, Antonio Margarito. All right, Larry, you envisioned this one. Could you see Pacquiao against Margarito? No, and he himself says he's going back to 140 after this fight. This could be the end of the fight here. Yeah, Oscar has no defense at all. I mean, his, his, his body language is that he just, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do at all. Well, all good things come to an end. Watching this, you wonder if you'll ever see Oscar De La Hoya near the top of the sport again. It could be that the long and glorious run of the Golden Boy is seeing the curtain drawn here tonight. Death by a thousand left hands. And if, in fact, the Golden Boy is being dethroned, it's happening at the hands of the fighter who may have the best chance of picking up his identity as the economic bell cow of the sport. Because Pacquiao's following is growing, not just in the Pacific Rim, but in the United States and Latin America as well. has a tough decision in front of him. There's a lot of glory and a lot of money in Oscar De Hoya's past, but he's getting beaten up here. This could be the end of the fight. Hey, do you have a headache? Huh? He doesn't feel anything. Oscar, do you have a headache? Okay, listen, 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 no, no, listen. If you, if, you, if you keep taking punches, I'm stopping the fight. Okay? We're gonna stop it. Better we stop it. That's, it's our decision, Oscar. It's a decision that we have to take. There's no reason to continue with this. He's too fast. Are you okay? Are you with that? You agree? Yes. One more round, or is that it? Is that it? Right now, you're here to corner is one to stop the fight. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Let's, let's finish it. That's it. Let's go. Fight is done. Matty Pacquiao Oscar has beaten Oscar De Loya. And it was the right thing to do. This is the last thing of all the choices we expected to see in this fight, which was a one-sided fight for Manny Pacquiao. The victorious Manny Pacquiao knelt to pray in the same corner where George Foreman got down on his knees 13 years ago after knocking out Michael Moore. As I searched the inventory of my boxing memory for an accomplishment as big as what his Pacquiao did tonight, maybe Foreman's win over Moore is the valid comparison. Something so illogical, so unusual, that you simply couldn't have imagined it would happen. A humiliating end for De La Hoya, who had to sit quietly in the corner and listen to a discussion among his trainer, his cornermen, the ring doctor, and the referee as to whether to stop the fight. It took them fully 30 seconds 
to debate the decision and ultimately to choose to do what you say, Emmanuel, a, was the right thing. That's a very bad and embarrassing position to be in. You're sitting in the corner and the entire conversation is about whether they can stop this man from beating you anymore because you're helpless and you can't do anything about it yourself. That's a rough, rough position to be in. And for the legions of Deloya detractors, they get a chance to glory in the moment. How the mighty have fallen. Deloya's even greater legions of admirers can reflect on how much glory and honor he's brought to the sport over his 16-year professional career. Here's another look at the stoppage. Nacho Berestein, the hired gun trainer brought in for this fight, finally told the truth to Oscar and said, he's too fast, you can't stop him, and that's the end of that. And the pride of the Philippines again holds his gloves aloft. Number one. Fighter in the world. And here's Michael Buffer with the particulars on the knockout victory. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, we turn a page in boxing history as this fight comes to an end. The official time at the end of round eight referee Tony Weeks calls a halt to the bout. The winner by TKO victory and still the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, the fighting pride of the Philippines, Manny. Pacman Pacquiao. This has been a presentation of HBO Sports.